Well, now hold on to your heart here because uh, it's easy to drop ten or twenty thousand dollars on a wedding. You're aware or more? Or, or more. <laughs> it, it's the or more that scares me. <laughs> but it takes great planning to spend under five thousand dollars. Problem solver uh, Susan Hogan is here joining us all week with her big ideas on small budgets. Good morning, Susan. Good Susan, morning. when I got married seventeen years ago, Ooh. five grand was a lot of money on a ring. Times have changed just a little bit. My brand, not so much anymore. FYI. <laughs> well, and you know, this is where we actually need you because you were complaining about how you know guys kind of get left out in the process. They do. This yeah. is all. This is all for a woman. Yes. The wedding is As all yes. for a woman. Get tell used it, to it. So is the wedding. So yeah. is the marriage. Yeah. And so Honeymoon. Much, so much. The whole shebang, <laughs> baby. Right, so listen. This is how you're going to save easy. some money. So this is how you can help us out. Invitations. Like you hurt me. Hurt me. Well, you never know. <laughs> Invitations is yes. a great way to save money. And I'll tell you how, you know, gone are the days where you can go and spend thousands of dollars. And that's how much a lot of these things can cost. Right now on the web, they have so many great resources. Mm -hmm. um, Thenot.com has some great samples where you can go and you can design your own invitation and you can actually also print them out. You just have to get a good printer. If you don't have one, you could take the program and bring it to Kinko's mm -hmm. or any other place that can do that. And then you can, you know, lick your own invitation. See, we sure. need you for that something I, I like that. I can do that. And that you can save real big on the invitations. The other thing, too, is the reception venue. We always talk about how you can do a Saturday, you know, Saturday night is of course the most popular, right, but it's right. also the most expensive. The best thing to do is to think about maybe a Sunday night or a Wednesday night, a Friday night. The thing about Sunday night too, try to do it on a long weekend where you have your guest would have uh, Monday. Monday. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Late and day? Late, absolutely. And you actually save a lot of money in that regard too. And we're talking not just hundreds, but thousands of dollars wow. for the reception. Transportation is also yeah. key. I know you all want to drive around in the limo, but honestly, who sees you in that? Nobody. It's just pictures, essentially. Right. And one of the options you can do is if a friend of yours has a really cool car, or Vince has a really cool car. I don't know if I really want to be a bride not, driving around in a car. I don't think you want to be a bride in my, my bright orange with but, a black striped car. You know, honestly, I'm not trying to be cheaper, but if you have a friend who has a really cool car, a nice Beamer or what have you, yeah. you know what? Borrow it. Yeah. Have have him drive you around because it's that's going to save you a lot of a lot of money. And it's all about also trying to you know if you've got a little budget and you want to try, save big, it's about prioritizing as well. Flowers. Do what I did. Get married on a holiday or around a holiday. I got married in the, around Christmas time, uh -huh. so my venue that I chose was already totally decorated. I did not have to supply. A uh, Christmas tree, uh, r nothing. They That's had it right. complete. I wow. saved so much money on the flowers in that regard. That was a big deal. And quickly, the honeymoon too. The registry. That was the one. The first thing that you do besides getting your gown is to go and get everything registered. You want your glassware, your china. But so many people nowadays are actually getting married a little bit later. Right. So a lot of people already have these things. So think about doing a honeymoon registry. Have you ever heard about these things? Uh, yeah, I have. It's a great new idea. But, yes. You get different things paid for. Well, exactly. What it is, Vince, is you can actually, there's websites out there. If you go to our website, we'll have them all there for you, where you can go and people can log on to these websites and actually give put money towards your honeymoon. Love that. It's an oh, amazing great. idea. Saves you tons of money and it gets you your honeymoon. Susan, Great. thanks so much. If you want more information on Susan's tips, you know where to go, foxprovidence.com.